hi everyone so i recently started on my hair um if you're wondering why some of it looks done and some of it looks loose some of it is done and some of it is loose oh gosh sorry guys i'm trying not to move the camera around too much all right so this is part three leave to cleave leave your family to cleave to your spouse okay um Listen to your spouse, not your family. This is part three. Um, lead to cleave, part three. All right. So, let me tell you a scenario directly from the Bible. Now, if you've read the Bible at all, you've probably come across this passage. Okay? So, let me tell you about this particular passage when Moses in the Bible was freeing the Hebrew Israelites and they were fleeing from Pharaoh and from all of Egypt many of these people who were former slaves these Hebrew Israelites that were former slaves they couldn't even get into the promised land because they were concerned with staying in bondage and being slaves and they literally created a golden calf in order to say that that was their god okay they said let us let us have what we had in egypt well in egypt you had Nothing but slavery and bondage. Had to pull my headphones from about my feet. <laughs> Thought something was on my feet, but it was my headphones. Anyway, um, this is my thing. Some people are so ungrateful. God will take them up out of a situation, and instead of them thanking God, they'll say. No, God, I, you know, I'm, I'm not grateful. I'm not thankful. Can you please put me back in the slavery and bondage situation that you just took me up out of? That's the most insane thing that you can ask God. That's a slap in God's face. Because God just took you up out of slavery and bondage. <clears throat> but you telling God you want to go back into that. I'll give you another scenario. Because you already know how that story ended. Lot's wife. Slavery and bondage in regards to the city that she was living in. You can't even go outside. Your daughters can't go outside. Your husband can't go outside. The city is so corrupt. Sodom and Gomorrah. The cities, excuse me, because there were two cities, not just one. The cities of Sodom and Gomorrah are so corrupt. But you telling God... You would rather have corruption than perfect peace. That's also insane. That's another hard, disrespectful slap in the face of God. That's another person in another scenario that's ungrateful. Lot's wife. Ungrateful for being one of the only members to make it out of that city. And you know, you see the movie where Lot's family and there's some more people. There were no other people. They were the only family that got out of Sodom and Gomorrah. There were no other people. No friends, none of that. Everybody else perished in Sodom and Gomorrah. As did the wife, because she looked back like a fool. If God is taking you up out of an evil, horrible situation, how dare you look back? You deserve to turn into a pillar of salt, water, fire, burst into flame. I don't care what happened. You deserve all of the above. Because you're ignorant. Like, to the point of no return. Like, it's ridiculous. I'll give you another scenario. Because <sighs> there are so many in the Bible. Um, if you happen to hear some snoring in the background, I don't live alone. That's one of my relatives. <laughs> okay? Um... So, yeah, I, I have another scenario for you guys um, in the Bible. 
ungrateful people. Okay. We're going to go back to the Hebrew Israelites. Okay, the Hebrew Israelites, we're going to go back to them. These people were complaining about not having food. They prayed and food rained down from heaven. These people were still ungrateful. They were still griping and complaining to Moses. The majority of these people were relatives. They were family. These weren't distant cousins for the most part. Everybody was pretty close. You have to be grateful for the blessing that God gives you and the blessings that God gives you. You can't go around being ungrateful, saying, no, God, I, you know, I know you're trying to take me out of bondage and, and out of slavery, but no, I don't want to be taken out of bondage and slavery because it's easier to be in bondage and to be a slave. If only you knew how crazy that sounds. If you want to know how crazy something sounds, say it out loud a couple of times. And you'll be like, you know what? That sounds insane. I don't need to say that no more. If you say things out loud, you'll get a better perspective most of the time. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share this video. And once again, leave your family to cleave to your spouse. And don't forget to hit that bell so you can get each notification every time I submit a new video. I love you guys and God bless you. Good night.